Okay, I'm going to be honest. I have not been inspired this week to create videos. This is actually the third time I've attempted to film something this week. The first two videos were midsummer greenhouse garden updates and I filmed them, I edited them, and I just ended up trashing them. I felt like if I wasn't inspired by them or didn't think they were very interesting, who else is going to want to watch and and think that they're interesting. So I decided that I would record something this week, but that it was going to be more of a greenhouse side chat, a little stream of consciousness, uh, because I've really been thinking a little bit more about why I'm here and what I'm doing and um, talk about some of the unexpected things that have come out of this channel. And I think one of the most unexpected things has been the sense of community that I've found here. I created this channel about seven months ago my husband and I moved to the country from San Francisco about a year and a half ago, and I really just created this channel to document the different uh, experiences I've been having with learning to garden. We got chickens a couple months ago, so learning a lot about that. This channel is not about giving expert advice to anyone. It's more about maybe giving people some inspiration and ideas um, in case they're in a similar situation. But you know, something interesting has happened. Um, I've recently surpassed 500 subscribers to this channel, which to me in the grand scheme of the YouTube universe is basically nothing. But uh, to think that there is over 500 people out there watching, potentially, is pretty encouraging and kind of helps to push me forward. So I really appreciate that and want to express gratitude for all of you who are subscribing and watching and hopefully enjoying this and will continue to watch and enjoy. I get a lot of inspiration from other channels and I thought that I would take some time to talk about some of the larger channels and the smaller channels that I really enjoy and uh, the channels that have have helped me to keep going as well. So the first channels are, are pretty large. Some of them have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they are the ones that I started watching before I even started this channel. So the first one is Meg Grows Plants and I think I found her originally on TikTok. She's got just a really beautiful garden. She now has chickens. I think she also has bees. One of the things that I really like about her channel is that she also incorporates cooking. So she'll go out into her garden, pick whatever is the most fresh and beautiful to harvest, and then she'll create really cool, interesting recipes, and, and that's pretty inspirational. So I enjoy her channel for, for those reasons. Second channel I really enjoy is The Cottage Peach. She also has a really beautiful garden, and she has some chronic pain issues, so she, uh, she has some content about making gardening more accessible for people that maybe have some um, limitations in what they can do. She also just recently got this absolutely gorgeous greenhouse. It's almost like a house house. I feel like you could live in it if you really wanted to, but since I have a greenhouse too, I've been following along and learning a lot of really great tips from her about um, making gardening in a greenhouse more successful. The third channel I love is Epic Gardening. It is appropriately titled um, Eric has just, he does have an epic garden. He basically has an epic homestead. He's created um, almost just a self-sufficient system and always posts just really, uh, really helpful, knowledgeable content about gardening. You could probably go search for anything and find it on his channel. The fourth channel is Gardenary, and that is a, a woman named Nicole Burke. She has a garden consulting business, so people will reach out to her and have her plan their gardens based on what their needs are. Um, I've actually gone to her website several times to get inspiration for planning out my garden space, and she's she's kind of of the school of just cram a lot in there make it a whole um, ecosystem with the different plants uh, really big on companion planting and anyway i love her channel you should definitely check it out some of the smaller channels that i really appreciate and have had quite a bit of interaction with are um, the first one is Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening, and that's a woman named Heather. She has she has a really beautiful garden, and I've learned so much from her. She gives lots of kind of tips about protecting from pests, identifying pests. Uh, she does uh, really nice garden tours, uh, kind of also stream of consciousness where she's just going through, talking about um, 
her plants and the different phases and I also really like that she's not afraid to share things that have happened that are problematic. It just makes me feel a little bit better about the challenging things that I'm going through and she always has really interesting solutions. A second smaller channel that I really enjoy is my little rural homestead and that is Lynn's channel. She, she also does a lot of um, content about different uh, dietary modifications you can make to help with health issues. So it's not about losing weight, it's just more about um, different things you can do to make your body work better. <laughs> she lives in Michigan and also posts uh, beautiful content about the area where she lives. It's just fun seeing different parts of the country as well. The final smaller channel that I really enjoy is jo is um, Grow Joyfully Homestead and that is a woman named Joy. She also has a really beautiful, beautiful land, um, beautiful gardens. She's got some really adorable cats and I can just tell she's really knowledgeable. She knows what she's talking about. She, uh, I've just followed her this whole season from the seedlings in the greenhouse to everything outside in the garden. And I'm just envious. She doesn't seem to have any pest problems, which uh, is just something that I would love to accomplish someday. So I'm putting links to all of these channels in the description of this video. Uh, if you've never checked them out, you might want to, and I just appreciate all of these channels for giving me inspiration, interacting with me, um, and helping to make my garden and my little homestead situation more successful. So I think that's it for me today. I will have a more in-depth midsummer garden tour as soon as I feel inspired to create it. We are planning on expanding our garden outside of the backyard, um, which I'm pretty excited about. So I'll talk more about those plans. And again, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free. I'm always happy to have you here and I hope that you are having a great day in your garden or wherever you are.